Welcome everyone to A Wild Approach. In this video, we're going to talk about wildlife in the garden. This is Chippy's favorite meal. Chippy is a little chipmunk that likes to hang out in my garden. I like to keep fresh water out there for the birds and the chipmunks. And the wasps and the groundhog also <laughs> use the water that I leave out there. And here's Chippy running around and hanging out. And here's the groundhog, which we've nicknamed Hoggy. Huggy eats almost anything. He loves Rigeron, he loves grasses, he loves, I can't remember if it's goldenrod or aster, but he always trumps the, the goldenrods and the ast or the asters down. And this grass, which I actually think this is a non-native grass anyway, so don't mind if you do, little Huggy. Become my little lawnmower. He makes the cutest little faces, and he's always suspicious of us. Always. We'll barely make a noise at the window, and he'll turn around and stare at us like that. <laughs> it's hilarious. There he is drinking out of the water. He appreciates a good drink. Kind of looks like a baby bear from this angle. <laughs> there he is with his little attitude. He's always suspicious of us. Every single day that he comes by. And here he is eating, or he's about to eat, the leaves of this black cherry tree, which I didn't know they could eat this, but apparently they can, even though they're, I think there's cyanide in it. But he can eat the leaves just fine. He's been around since, he's still alive, he's still kicking, so. And then here is some type of, well, I guess it's, I think it's a green, yeah pale green assassin bug um, about to eat the juices of a metallic green bee which I think is some type of sweat bee I don't know my bees very well except for carpenter bees and he's just going to town on a non-native flower there which I pulled out before it could go to seed and then here's a little skink hanging out in the backyard they love to hide among Retaining walls, cement blocks, rocks, leaves, twigs, um, brush piles, and then you saw it was behind the bags of, of compost, so all kinds of things. They love to hide in all these places where they can stay hidden and warm. And it was a pretty windy day on this day, but you're about to see a ravelry. Check it out. Ah! <laughs> that squirrel is being a bully, scaring that poor little chipmunk away. Chippy the chipmunk. Poor little thing. But she bounced back pretty fast. She just found a seed and she went over and she ate it. <laughs> or she stored it in her mouth. I don't really know. I never can tell if they're just storing the seeds or eating the seeds. <laughs> And here's the squirrel exploring and looking for trouble. Squirrels are always looking for trouble in my garden. I welcome almost all of the wildlife. <laughs> sometimes I yell at the squirrels, sometimes I yell at the groundhogs. Um, yeah, but you know, they're still welcome here. It's just sometimes I have to scare them away from certain things that I'm trying to get established. And, these would be some cuttings that it's just completely disrespecting and digging in the container of them. <laughs> but that's fine. And here's Chippy. Just being cute as per usual, doing her thing, not worried about anybody else's business. Running around, showing her sassy side, <laughs> chilling, hanging out with her big full cheeks <laughs> so cute so freaking cute and here's a little skink lizard just hanging out looking thinking mm, should i hang out with with chippy i don't think so i should probably run away from chippy <laughs> never can tell with chippy i think she tried to eat one of these lizards one day i don't know if she was successful or not but she seems unenthused by that lizard 
She really loves this little area over here with the Virginia creeper vines and the silky dogwood shrubs. She loves this spot. It gives her some shade, gives her some cover, some hiding places, and she also finds insects, I think. Stuff like that to eat. So it's a good little spot for her. The insects, I think, are attracted to the dogwoods because of the blooms and because of the leaves, but a couple days later, I noticed Chippy looking really strange and laying a weird way, and she wasn't feeling very well. And she was right in front of that Virginia creeper vine, and she was laying in a way I never really see her do. So I took out my 4K camera and zoomed in, and that's what this footage is, because Otherwise, from my house, I can't really make out any details. Um, but not long after, I noticed that she started to kind of like move funny, and I noticed it looked like she was starting to cough or puke or something, and so I was like, oh no, because it looked like she didn't feel well, and she just kind of looked puny, but very quickly, she bounced right back. Fortunately, she felt better and seemed herself again. A morning dove was sheltering in a silver maple from an intense rainstorm we were having that day. And you can see it's like putting its wings up to try to like block some of that rain, I guess. Just to try to get some shelter. Oh, poor thing. Right in the thick of it. And here's the backyard, we're getting rained on. And the back patio area. The dry creek, no longer dry and full of water. And it uh, began to flood a little bit. <laughs> this area is always getting flooded in a really intense rainstorm. Even the path we've made also gets flooded. The good news is it dissipates pretty quickly and drains pretty quickly for the most part. shelf. I love my new plant shelf. Oh, we spotted a monarch on May 17th and I took some photos from some footage I took. The footage wasn't good so I just had to take some stills out of it because the monarch, it was not staying put for anything. It flew back and forth constantly so this is the best I could do. <laughs> but I think that some of these captures were decent. At least, they were good enough for me to identify it as a monarch, which is the main important thing. And it appears to be a female, but I'm not 100% sure from a distance. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! I just added some new original paintings to the shop. Go to MacyLou.com to check out the new pieces. I also have prints available as well as different categories of products. I have a $12 and under section and a $25 and under section as well because I believe every human being deserves to have art in their home and to feel cozy and comfortable wherever they live. I also have a contact page where you can easily get in touch with me at your convenience for art commissions and business inquiries. Just put a quick subject line such as, hey, I'd like an art commission, and then in the message section, put in detail about what type of commission you are wanting. Also, feel free to use the contact form as a way to ask any questions you may have about the art or the shop. Thanks for all of your support, no matter what form it takes. To support the channel, like the video, comment, and subscribe. You can also support my work by buying art from me at macylou.com. 
Thanks for watching.